I'm gonna, um, oh, uh, I don't think I want to go this way. I want to go this way first. There's a couple of rats over here we can kill. <laughs> Most players would only find one rat encounter over on this side of the field, but here's the thing. There's another rat on the main path into Gornia, whose um, event triggers are the same as this rat in this corner over here. So if you kill the one on the path there, this one vanishes. And if you kill this one, the one on the path vanishes. So you still get your rats either way, but you might not know that this one is here. Not worried, it's a rat. Let's go. It's a singular rat. Close enough? Oh man, it's raining. Uh, one annoying thing about the early part of this game is it seems to rain a lot. And rain reduces your accuracy in combat, which is very annoying. Like, especially whenever you're trying to get your party off the ground, and you just can't land hits to save your life, even though I've had very good luck with that so far. Good job, Brecken. Proud of you. But yeah, rain is a pain. Lol, I made a rhyme. Spice! Give me that spice. Yeah. See, we're gonna find, like, plenty of regions along the way. I'm not super worried about them. Is it reagent or regent? I'll have to look into that. It's, I don't actually know which pronunciation is correct, or if both are acceptable. Fight me, rat. So many rats. Just cleaning up the hillside with all these monsters here. Raw, get over there, Rick. He can't quite. Can I hit this one? Can I hit the further one? Nope, too slow. Ready used to be quicker too. Everyone's just slower in general. Sad face. Unlike wolves, rats do not have thick fur, as far as I'm concerned, so their weakness and resistance is a little different. Um, I believe they are weak to star magic, and resistant to um, necromancy, I think it was. Or no, they're resistant to naming. The rationale here is that, like, well, it, it kind of delves a bit into the lore, but... Um, Star magic is like the magic of the Jundar, who, uh, as we'll find out later, basically do not have souls or like spirits inside them. They live for a really long time, but like their one lifetime seems to be all they get. And unlike humans who do have spirits, and that's why they need like naming ceremonies to bind them to their bodies. But uh, basically, the way I interpret it is that uh, common beasts like rats do not have souls, so they are more susceptible to star magic for that reason, and for the, for the exact same reason, they are less susceptible to naming magic. That's the idea there. And there are a few other enemies in that category too. It's been a minute. Let's save. Let's save. Before we fight more bats. Your time has come, bat. Uh, I would like you to initiate the combat if possible. I don't want to talk to you. But this bat is notorious for just ignoring you running around, so I don't know if we actually will. Hey, bat. Hey, bat. Fight me. Fight me, bat. Fight me. Yeah, there he goes. You have to get super close. Which is never a good thing. Lots of bats. Uh, he should be okay at this distance. Spacing is very important in combat. Oh god, I really have to be closer than that? Fine. Okay, she can get them from right next to a Brecken, which is good. I want to make sure I've got exactly two of them. Okay. Weaken the bats.
Yeah, so that's true of rats, that's true of bats, it's true of basically any common natural animal that does not have thicker fur. So everything but wolves and uh, bears, basically. And that also means bears will be a little easier to use swords against, which is kind of a good thing because cave bears are a bit much to deal with this early in the game. In fact, I don't know why they are this early in the game at all. And if I could edit map encounters, I would definitely put more cave bears later in the game and have only bears in the early game. And you would probably find some caves that actually had cave bears in them. <laughs> because there are no caves with cave bears in them. Uh, those two are weakened. The breaking is really strong. Kill this one. I hope they don't turn around and bite his back. Please no. No, leave him alone! Ow! Crap! Kill it on the run! Before it gets the move! Ah, see? That hit would not have killed it if I didn't weaken it first. They have more health than that. Get the bat! Get him! You missed Brenna, that could be critical. Rayda, finish him! Yes! That hit would not have killed him, either. Phew! Okay, so now a Brecken is in terrible shape. But here is the other advantage to having healer ability. You can use it in combat. There you go, buddy. And as it turns out, healing is very discouraging to the enemy party. The more your party heals, the more inclined enemies will be to flee. So we're just gonna spend some turns patching up here and see if these bats don't lose their nerve. Doesn't look like they're gonna. Uh, come on, bats. I don't want to walk all the way over there. Don't make me. I guess I could use a healing potion to speed this along. They're not gonna be super important. Yeah, we'll, we'll use a couple of healing potions. Then Brenna and Aleron can focus on each other. Oop, not that one. This one. Aleron. This is why healer is broken, kids. This is why. Even when you can use it in combat, just having it on two people is enough to break the game. You can get the healing all the way up to 25. And it still only costs 3 stamina. That means every time you heal, you're recovering 22 health in the party as a whole. These bats aren't backing down, are they? <laughs> We've got to go get them. At least none of us are within, like, range of getting killed by them. Okay, bats, you want to tangle? Let's go. They might be a little more confident because they have the hill. Like, elevation is important in combat, and it's kind of why a lot of the battlefields are sloped like this. So that you can play with elevation and uh, have an advantage if you're higher up the hill. Oh my god, they're all just flocking around up there. Stupid bats. Mm, she's not quite close enough to attack that one. Oh, but she could cast on a couple of them. Might as well, yeah. Can I reach two? Can I reach two with my weakness spell? Yeah, not without getting perilously close. But it did just get a turn. Uh, we'll go here for now. Aleron, you're slow. Everyone is slow, but Aleron, you're especially slow. Alright, so now she's got some options to attack. Hit him. Yeah! Nice hit. 
Ben has been doing great with these throwing weapons. I don't, I don't understand. Thank you for blocking that, Everkin. Thank you so much. Think you can crowd me, Batten? No. Now run away. You've witnessed the carnage awaiting you, Bass. Yeah. Get lost. Oh, do I want to walk him closer? I don't think I do. Not one of those other bats could move in on him. Us. Nerves of steel, these rats. With wings. You know what? Yeah. Still want to fight, guys? We can do this. We can do this if you insist. I'll kill every last one of you. Run away. Yes. Do you think you have a chance, Bat? Do you think you have a prayer? Do you think you can take four heroes by yourself? I'm glad you listened to reason. Alright, that cleans up the coordinate encounters that are not wolves. Wolf packs that are too large. Well, no, that's not true. There's like one more. There's one more bat over here. But it's not a big bat battle like that. It's a small bat battle. It's a reasonably sized bat battle. We're still gonna take him out though. Gotta go over here. Over here. Around this bend. It's right there. Hello, bat. See? Easy bats. Uh, weakness. Can I get close enough to get them both? Uh, come on. Come on. I actually can't get either of them. Wow. That spell nerf. Starting to feel it. That's okay. We'll just respect the bats and have an honorable fight. Run over here. Get her just close enough to throw. Man, she has barely missed a shot. I'm loving it. I don't know what's going on. She's usually way worse than this. Can you kill it? Yeah! Good job, Brenna. What say ye bat? Come closer. Brenna, you're getting like all the turns. Quit hogging it. Quit hogging the fun. Huh. For a second I was worried he would get two turns in a row and just annihilate Renna. But he did not. It's kind of my goal not to let her die, because every time I play this game, literally every time, sooner or later on the road to Aramon, she dies. By some misfortune. I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> I mean, I would just reload my save if she did anyway, but... I actually want to like do it legit so she doesn't die. So there's nothing left but wolves over there, and I don't feel like fighting them just yet. There are a lot more easy critter encounters we can do before then. Hmm. Well, we have been playing for a hot minute, so I think what we'll do is I'm gonna get to the entrance of Oizen, and we'll call it there for now. This was a good session. I feel like we got a lot done. I mean, not really, but we got out of the castle and that was my main goal, so we did it. Well, uh oh, it's raining again. Let's see if Brenna's still as good at throwing knives while well, she has rain in her eyes. Huh? She's still doing good. No complaints here. Yeah, you block that stupid rat. Yeah. 
take another dent out of this one. Or, well, that's a different one. Two rats are dented now. Kill it. Ah, oh, come on, Rickon. Were you even trying? Alright, now show me. A little more gumption. Oh, I guess that was technically a little more gumption. Alright, hit it with your axe. Chapu. Think you can finish it, Brenna? I mean, it's kind of got a lot of health. You might be able to if you get lucky. Chop! In a way, it's a bit of a waste to have Brenna be the thrower, because people who use throwing weapons cannot take advantage of thief backstab damage. But we'll survive. It's not gonna make or break us. Though, actually, it might be a good idea to train some more people in Warrior and Thief, just so they can take advantage of those bonuses. I'll have to keep it in mind. For now, we're very nearly there. Well, until where I said I'd stop for now. Head on up this path here. This trail should look familiar. And if it doesn't, well, I don't have anything to say to that. Two Guerning out. We're back to the forest, where this all began, and where it shall begin again next time. Thank you for watching.